Hey everybody, this is Structural Steve again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly find ground line elevations in your OBM model based on specific stations. So my personal favorite way to find a quick ground line elevation is to use the cross section tool in the Civil tab. So to go there, you start off just by clicking on the Civil tab here. Go over to cross sections and open cross section view. From there, it's going to ask you to locate your alignment. I'm just going to zoom out here and then click on that. That's my alignment right there. And then it'll ask you to specify a left offset. You can kind of eyeball this. So I'll just want to make sure I want to get the extents of my bridge. So let's go just outside my left edge of the deck here. And then it wants a right offset. So again, just eyeball and it's fine, just outside the deck. And then it wants to specify a station. So in this case here, I'm going to try to get a ground line elevation for my footer here on pier two. So I'll just going to snap to that pier line there, or I can enter it in manually left click to accept and then it's asking for an interval so the interval is going to be the length of which it shifts this cross section when you kind of left arrow or right arrow click on it so one foot's not fine for me i'm going to kind of try to dial it in and, and scan across this footer here and see what my ground line elevations are across the footer so one foot works for me and these are all things too that you can specify ahead of time over in this dialog box here and check it in order to lock it like i have for the interval in length so i'm just going to go ahead and click left click to accept and now it's asking me to open a view in which I want to view this cross section. So I'll typically use one that I don't use very often. So I'll just pick number eight for now. And then left click in that view. And then that'll open up your cross section. So one important thing to note too here is you want to make sure that you have that ground line turned on, that elevation survey data file turned on here before you cut your cross section because otherwise you're not going to be able to see where the ground line's at in here. In this case, this is you know, a 3D mesh file. This is a tin file. So go back and open up that cross section view here. And that ground line is going to be represented here by this green dash line in this particular case. So what I do to look and see what the elevation is, is you can see the elevation scales on the left and right here, and then the uh, offsets from the alignment on the bottom here. So I'll just kind of go to my point of interest here. So this looks like a low spot here. Um, and I'll just kind of zoom in and then kind of drag that near my one of my scales and see, okay, that's about 86.40 feet in terms of elevation. And then if you want to scan across uh, an object so like this footer here, I want, to, I want to shift this cut line and kind of see where the lowest point really is. Then this is where those intervals we specify comes into play here. So I'm just going to go click on previous station or head next station. And that's just going to go by the interval length I specified earlier, which is one foot. So I'm kind of scanning across here and seeing it. As I'm doing this too, you can see this big blue line here. This represents where that dynamic cut is being made in your model. So you can kind of get a good idea of where that's at in relation to this cross section. So I'm just going to keep on clicking over, looking for a low point on that out footer there. It looks like that might be you know, somewhere around maybe here. So kind of zoom in and see what that is there. Yeah, it's about the same, you know, 86.5, 5-ish you know, five, or so. So this is really the, the way I prefer to do it uh, in terms of getting ground line elevations. I think it's quick and easy. I like the fact that you can quickly go to a different station and see where you're at, and then also see where that cut's being made dynamically here. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please help the channel out by hitting that subscribe button you see on your screen now. Give the video a like and share with others. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section, and I'll do my best to respond to them. See you guys in the next video.